this is my story. This happened in August 2019. I was 18 at the time, again, super young. My friend who had been modeling for some time called me and asked me like, hey, there's a music video starring Gary Sandu. Um, the music videos called Like You and she told me that they needed models for the shoot and it asked if I was free that day and me thinking me, um, I was like, yeah, like sure, why not? And this was the start of my modeling career. So I was thinking like, hey, I could gain more experience. And also I saw this as a new opportunity and that this could open so many more doors for me. So when the day finally came, the shoot was supposed to run from approximately 10 to 4 p.m. Um, so I arrived on set um, on time with uh, me and just my friend, the one that called me. And so we got on set and first of all, we were ignored by Sook. Um, I tried not to take it personally because I was like, hey, like he's, you know, this big film guy and like, you know, just don't take it personally. But I personally found that super unprofessional when you're not greeting the people that you're working with. Uh, I picked up the courage to finally approach him and went and said hi, introduced myself. I very quickly realized how disrespectful Sook's behavior was to the female models on set. And guys, all this behavior was witnessed by his team, but yet no one said a word. No one said anything to him. He kept getting mad at the models because we weren't moving our bodies the way that he wanted it done. Like, seriously? We were doing a club scene in a forest. He kept raising his voice at the ladies, which I find is just very disrespectful in general. You should never raise your voice too So late. not only was he raising his voice, but he would always move all the um, attractive ladies to the front. And being 18 years old, this made me feel so uncomfortable and so belittled. The fact that all these attractive girls that are shaking their body the right way are getting moved to the front and I'm just not comfortable. That's, to me, that's just so ridiculous and so unfair. So um, when I found out about this shoot, um, I had agreed to come from 10 to 4 p.m. That was the verbal agreement with the team that I had. And the shoot went on until early hours of the morning. And not gonna lie, like this made me feel like a puppet. The fact that I was getting dragged around and later on in the evening, when we were told just to dance around cars. Um, I'm not a dancer. I was hired as a model, not a dancer. And he wanted us to re rehearse a sequence on the spot with other girls. Some of us got it, some of us didn't. Again, I'm not a dancer. So, Sook then became very verbally aggressive towards me and the other models for not understanding how to do the dance moves. And these weren't just like westernized dance moves. These were Punjabi dance moves that he was getting everyone to do literally on the spot. And then after seeing that some of the models weren't understanding the dance moves, he then went on to insult everyone in Punjabi saying that they're all useless and one of the models finally decided that like enough was enough and that she had to get up and leave. Sook immediately threatened her and said that if she left she would not be getting paid for the entire day where she was I there. also at this point wanted to leave a lot like I was just done at this point. I was exhausted. I wasn't getting treated uh, the right way so I just wanted to leave at that point but um, I was worried that if I left I wouldn't receive my payment and after all that stuff that happened that was the reason why I was there in the first place just when I thought Sook couldn't stoop any lower he started to offer alcohol to all the underage girls and keep in mind I was 18 at the time there was also other underage girls that were there and this was towards the end of the shoot when we were just wrapping things up. I just wanted to get out there and kindly like decline the offer and just like run to my car. Scariest thing is that I was underage. There was other underage girls there. And the fact that this guy that was clearly so much more older and I thought he was gonna have respect for us, he was offering us liquor. We're underage women, like that's just not okay at all. And just when I thought, like, hey, this can't get any worse. Um, so all the models were told that we were gonna get paid uh, between seven to 10 days via e-transfer. So this was in August. Um, I wasn't receiving any messages back. Um, after the seven to 10 days 
uh, that were over. I constantly uh, messaged members of the team, trying to get a hold of them, trying to see where my payment was. But the payment, like I finally got my pay in October 2019. Like it's bad enough experiencing all the stuff that happened on the shoot day, but to get your payment that you worked for almost like, you know, two to three months late, that's seriously, that's just wrong. It's I wrong. feel like it's my duty to speak on this matter. I know I waited forever, but I was genuinely very, very scared. When we send our children out to work, we never expect the employer to break the law and offer our underage children alcohol. I could be wrong, but from what I witness, I do not believe that this was the first time Sook had offered underage girls alcohol on set. And this clearly shows you what kind of person he is. I know many of you guys will say things. Uh, I know a lot of you are gonna say that um, things went different, but I did what I thought was right at the time, being 18 years old. Uh, this has been reported to the authorities because he did offer underage women alcohol at a workplace.